Hi, this is Andrew with Infinity Cutting Tools. Today, I'm down here in the corner to show you guys how I use a new concepts coping saw to get perfect tight fitting joints on the inside corners of my baseboards and crown moldings. This is an easy skill to master if you have the right tool and it will ensure that you always have perfect tight fitting inside corners on any trim that you install. If you've ever used a traditional hardware store type of coping saw, you know that these just aren't that convenient to use. They're typically heavy with their steel frame. They don't produce a great amount of tension. They tend to be kind of flexy. So as you're cutting, the blade likes to warp or twist. To tension the blade itself, you've got to screw the handle in and out to apply the tension, and that throws off the angle at which you want your blade to be set. The new Concepts coping saw solves all those problems. First of all, it has a big, rigid aluminum frame, which is very, very stiff, but also very light. So it makes the saw much easier to manipulate while you're cutting. It also uses a cam style of blade tensioner. So it's very easy to adjust the amount of tension on the blade and you get the exact right amount of tension that you need. It accepts a standard pin style coping saw blade so there's no issues getting the right blades for your saw. And finally, the new Concepts coping saw has positive stops for the blade swivel every 15 degrees. This allows you to position your saw blade very accurately so that you're not going to have any twist to your saw blade while you're cutting which would cause the saw to cut poorly. The new Concepts saw is going to cut nice and straight no matter how you position your saw blade. Let's go ahead and cut some trim. Now that we know we have the right saw for the job, it's time to start cutting our baseboards. For the first piece, this is gonna be easy. We just go ahead and cut it to length with a nice square corner and we install it nice and tight up into the corner of our room. The second piece that's gonna mate into this piece, we need to cut to match the profile in the first piece. The way we do this is we actually cut it at our 45 degree angle. Once we've made that 45 degree cut, we can actually take our pencil and just mark along that edge so we can really see it. That gives us a cut line that we can follow to make sure we get a perfect tight fitting cope joint. Now all we have to do is make that cut. The key to getting a nice tight fitting cope is to have a comfortable place to do your sawing. I like to lay my piece of trim flat and actually hold the saw like this. Then I can simply start cutting and I can make sure that my saw stays nice and vertical so that I get a nice straight line and everything will just slide together nicely. Let's get to cutting. All right, we're back over here in the corner. We're gonna see how well our cope fits. Slide it up, nice and tight. There you have it, nice tight fitting corner that's gonna fit even if our corner is a little out of square and it's never gonna open up even with seasonal moisture changes.